my guy wasn't recording the first 30 seconds i just stared down a dog i said oh this dog's staring at me it's real good stuff you guys missed it something's wrong with my back this week it's just so stiff from the tip of my neck all the way down to my butt is like so stiff i need someone to like pop, 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 bring me out like a dish towel okay just feels like it all needs to be reset they need to go in play that game of operation take all the vertebrae out put it back in my back feels like a big life-size game of jenga and people have just been coming by and just taking some of the blocks out and they're like you think you could walk around like this you only need a couple vertebrae to make a spine i've just been sleeping weird i don't know what's going on we're going to work did i say no i didn't we're going to work this is the after snaps the afterthoughts of the week the snapshot of my life the snapshot is we're going to work and it's 6 8 in the a.m otherwise why else would i be wearing a black collared shirt covered in peanut butter stains but i do have un bagel what's bagel in spanish pan is bread isn't it it's like a circle a circle of bread what's circle in spanish circle i don't know circle de pan circle de pan bagel my favorite type of bagel thanks for asking is like a cheddar and herb or like a, no it's an asiago cheese bagel we get this like vegetable i almost said frosting this vegetable cream cheese with like carrots and chives in it or i get like a bacon cheddar cream cheese I guess I don't know many other cream cheeses, so those are my answers. Also, nail color changed, you know, did it myself. I don't want to talk about it. Long story short, you know what else is short? My nails. There you go. That's the story. There's been one of those weeks. If you're an exclusive watcher of the Friday videos, you would know, or you wouldn't know, I'm about to tell you. Last Friday, I talked about books. Seems to be a weird topic we're on now. I told everyone... I'm supposed to read this Akatar book, whatever it is. I said, oh, there's a couple holds on it at the library. I think I said two or three. I looked it up again. There's 40 holds on it. And I have no idea what, if, where I am in line on the holds. I could be the 40th person. 40th person? 40th person. So I just bought the book. It was 10 bucks. I just bought the damn thing. Hopefully it's good. Did y'all get up there? Usually in the morning, the routine, the pre-work routine. When I get out of bed, I must do this, this, and this before work, or it's gonna be an off day, a weird day, a don't talk to me day. It's a non-customer service type of day because I didn't get my coffee. I didn't get the coffee on the way in, but I skipped the coffee today because yesterday I was at the store and saw these. Oh, I love a bright can. They really get me with the colors. Ghost energy drinks. I've seen quite a few people drink them. I've seen people rave about them. I've seen other people who are like, what is that? And then I'm in the middle. There's like font on this green part and it's all textured out. That's kind of nice. So is this, you like know exactly where the logo is. Okay, interesting. They turn these like candies into energy drinks. They have like Swedish fish flavor, Sour Patch Kid flavor. I thought the person was driving the wrong way. I was like, okay, this is, I'm gonna lay on the whore. They have an orange dreamsicle flavor, which I got. This is a sour watermelon warhead. I don't do, I, I already know I cannot handle Warheads. I think I've had them on the channel before. I think I had them when I was with Lacey that one time. This isn't only watermelon. This is a sour watermelon drink. This is what I'm having in lieu of coffee today. This is my energy. Let's see if this gets me going at work. If I get back in the car and say, oh, today I lifted a 200 pound St. Bernard into his crate. It might have worked. It might have kicked in. It might have given me some energy to speak of. Actually, fun fact, when Cole and I did the Ghost Adventure series, like, short-lived, the three-episode thing, I reached out to Ghost to see if they wanted to, like, sponsor us, because that'd be a funny sponsor, like, Ghost Energy Drinks, Ghost Hunting. Didn't respond. Also, I was following them. Their Instagram page is hella annoying. Just obnoxious marketing, and I just didn't want to see it in my feed anymore, so I unfollowed. And that is the fun facts with Chris. That was a loud popper. It smells like the juice that they use in the Sour Warheads. Is a Sour Warhead frozen? How do they get a hard candy out of a liquid? Is it hot candy and then it cools into a solid? You don't freeze it into a solid. This deserves one of those episodes. You know those episodes called like How It Works or How It's Made? I love those. They're like, oh, you want to know how street signs are made? Here's a 30 minute episode on it. We went behind the scenes. Paper clips, we gotcha. How do they get the lotion in the bottle? We figured it out. Oh my, God. okay, before I spill this. Sour watermelon ghost, my cheeks are already puckering. Ooh. Interessante. The first thing to touch your lips is that little bit of sour, pucker, puckering. This is crazy. Does taste like watermelon. Tastes a little bit like green apple. As far as flavor accuracy, I want to say a 9 out of 10. I wish the watermelon taste lasted a little bit longer. As far as like makes me feel good, 
to drink, two. As far as pucker ability, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a six because my mouth automatically just wants to. As I'm drinking, this man just crossed the street. Now he's crossing again. Oh, he's crossing that street. All right. Life is about crossing street. Why am I so awake right now? Maybe because I got to sleep in a half hour. Or maybe the energy drink's kicking in. I don't know. Was I awake four minutes ago before I had it? I'm going to be speaking dog by the end of my shift. Bow, 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 bow. That's what I'm going to be drinking today. Oh, uh, we, oh, uh, we, oh. Uh, and I just want to know ya, know ya. I'm making love. Trying to figure out if today's going to be a busy day at work. Yesterday was slow. We're busy in the summers because when everyone's going on vacation, they leave their dog for boarding. But it's also when we're slow because a lot of the people who go to work or like have kids, their kids are home so they can watch the dog. They don't have to bring the dog in for daycare. Very wishy-washy, but yesterday we were not busy. I think today we won't, we won't be slammed busy, but it's the type of dogs we'll get in. There's a certain few players in the field that don't like to follow the rules of the game. You know what I'm talking about? They love trouble causing it, being involved. It's not about the amount of dogs. It's about the quality of dog. <laughs> The listenability of the dog. Some of them, they're on a they're on a point five. Some of the dogs with the biggest ears act like they cannot hear. And I'm like, that's imp that's impossible. Oh my god, my bagel! Oh, I caught it, but I caught it on my my pants are like I don't know how clean my pants are. I did wash them, but then I worked it. Probably not that clean. But to not eat the last little bit of my bagel, just to throw this part out. I want this part. I'm usually hungry at work. <laughs> It's fine. If I come back to the car with a big scar coming down my face or a big scratch on my chest because the dogs have been jumping today and not listen, I'll be like, the listenability is at an all-time low. La, 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 la. Does anybody drink energy drinks? What kind of energy drinks do you like? I could try other ones. Back in my day, I used to crush those green and blue monsters at like a sleepover. And I'd be like, we don't need to go to bed, it's 3 a.m. How about we just stay up all night and tell stories and paint our nails and tell me your deepest darkest secret. Oh my, hey, Bethany, I wanna shut our eyes. Get that lazy eye back and check, you know what I'm talking about? Maybe just shut your eyes and shut your mouth and sleep will just happen to you. Your listenability right now should be a zero. You should be unconscious in your little sleeping bag. This tastes like something else, watermelon, like a very distinct candy. And I can't, oh, oh, it tastes like Oh, is it Jello? Is it a Jello that I've had? Is there watermelon Jello? Oh my God, what the fuck? What is that? I can see it, like a like a limeade cherry Jello. What in the world is this flavor? Why are we parking so close to each other? It tastes like a Jello, like a Jello I've had or a Jello that my mom's made, like a lime, a lime Jello. This is our newest energy drink. It's a sour watermelon warheads with a Jello aftertaste. No, yes, everyone loves a Jello aftertaste. Did we do smell? Kind of smells like someone who took a shower with the most obnoxious smelling bubbly bath powder, bath gel, bath bubbles, shower gel, and then it just smells like the dampest washcloth that they haven't washed in about a month. It might be the it might be the metal of the can smelling like them. All right, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna go into work. Pip pip cheerio. Hello, how are you? Should I just have an accent all day? Oh, it's kicking in. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta move. We gotta hustle. Don't let these people see you walking with a coffee. Let them see. I'm gonna start waving the can around. We're powered by sour water. You think they could see me talking in my car to myself? You think they would care? The dogs are probably like, she talks to herself all the time, Dad. I don't know what the fuck. She always talking to herself. We don't even have to be there. Does she see us? I got two minutes to get inside, to clock in, to put my shit down, and to act right. You tired? You sleep? What did I say? Boom! I walk in. Second dog, Rosie. She got a split lip, like a like a cleft palate sort of thing. Like she's missing part of her lip. Jumps on me, claws me. Boom, boom, boom! Right in the neck. I. Oh my god, I reek. I reek of wet dog. There's a storm that rolled in. Thunder, lightning, boom. We're trying to go outside. We're like, hey, hey, let's get him in and get him out. Like, and I was right. It wasn't the amount of dogs. It was the quality of dogs. This parking lot's busier than Taco Bell after bar close. A couple of my favorites were there. Guinness, Tucker, Chloe, a.k.a. Clarice. So I was getting the good scratches in, but now I just like reek of dog. Oh, we got a new dog. A new little puppy. He's a Shepherd Lab Pyrenees mix. His name's Larry. He's very cute. His name's Larry. 
So I kept singing the SpongeBob song, like, Big Little Larry when he came to town. Dun 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 Split his pants. I think that, you know what? What was the scale I did before? Effect, effective ability. I feel energized. Sometimes I feel like I'm immune to coffee as much as I drink it. So the energy drink's like a nice change up. Not my favorite flavor. And I was like, I feel like I just want the sugar out of it, but not this weird watermelon jello thing we got going on. And it worked, she gave me the phone. So besides like a walkie talkie and watching the dogs, there's also like a phone we have to answer. So she, the supervisor finally gave it to me and she's like, I'd never give you the phone. I was like, I know how to answer a phone. Welcome to the dog daycare. If they poop it, we scoop it. We're open, come on in. You got the dog, we got the daycare, head on in. We're open until whatever the morning shift ends. Or I could take notes. I have bad handwriting, but I could just take a note, you know, or put them on hold or tell them to call back later. Our, like, our hold music is just big little Larry when he came to town. And split his pants. Hello? No, sorry for putting on your hold. No. Oh, you're... Your aggressive 200 pound dog. Oh, I don't know. Have they been socialized? No? Okay, well just maybe we should work on that. I'm not gonna put them in a room with seven other dogs if they don't like other dogs. That's like throwing a surprise birthday party for an introvert. I'm not gonna surprise them with a bunch of people they don't wanna be around. They're not ready for it. I'd be acting out too. If I was a super introvert and I got a surprise birthday party, somebody just came up to me like, hey, happy birthday. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me some warning. Speaking of dogs, this one's hanging out the car. If you're gonna throw a surprise birthday party for a super introvert, I would come out swinging. They'd be like, surprise! Like, boom, 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 boom. Uppercut, uppercut. Damn, you just won two KO'd your fourth grade math teacher. They were super excited about being here today. You're like, first of all, if memory serves me right, I got a C in that class. They don't need to be here. Big little Larry when he came to town. And then don't walk around with a frown.